welcome everybody to the first episode of Phrygian the podcast. My name is Miles and I am joined with my two other hosts. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Marley. My name is Liz. And today we're going to be doing just a sort like introduction little podcast because, well, you gotta get to know us if you're gonna start listening to us yap about music, right? Who is Phrygian? <laughs> Who is Phrygian? What is Phrygian? What, what is Phrygian? Know? That is a good question. I don't know what Mozart. are. With, for people who don't know music and who aren't like super music theory people, does someone want to explain what Phrygian means? Or yeah, should I do it? Mozart here. No, I am um, with Mozart here. So like there are different modes. Modes of what? <laughs> modes of scales. Scales and are where you play notes in an octave straight up, like do 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 do. They they are consisted of whole and half steps, um, and those are like, you know, um, if you're looking at a piano, it's like between uh, white keys and black keys. So a white key to another white key. If it's like C to D, that's a whole step, <laughs> and then uh, D or uh, C to C sharp, that's a half step. C sharp would be a black key. Yes, yes. Thank you, Liz. Oh, I, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to you, Doc. Um, <laughs> no! If you're listening. <laughs> um, period. <laughs> now, to cut the explanation short, anyway. thank you, music major. <laughs> it, the, the mode is where you play the same scale, just on a, it starts on a yeah. different note. You're it's the same on a thing. Note. All the notes are the same because like sometimes they change. So, but you just start on a different note. And Phrygian is on the third, and there's three yeah. of us. I thought of yeah. this. I was very proud of myself. Yeah. So job. if we're if we're like starting the note on C, you're that it would be E Phrygian. Yeah, that's yeah. true. All right. And E Phrygian <laughs> is a minor mode. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> and what's what's special about the Phrygian mode? I'm, I'm testing you right now. It has I, a really cool name. Yeah. No. Um, it has a minor two, yes, so it goes it do ra yeah. instead of do re. Yeah. Whoa. I think it's pretty cool. At yeah. some point, we should play a Phrygian, like a, a song that's like based around a Phrygian scale. I yeah. Agree. I feel yeah. like. I mean, I know a lot of metal music is in yeah. Phrygian, yeah. and I think that's like the main genre that uses Phrygian, oh, so. That's cool. And See? that perfectly fits me. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is the type of stuff you get to know when you listen to Phrygian. It's true, you get to be educated. Yeah, I also get to be educated. educational. Yeah. Yeah. Educational? It's, it's an educational podcast. Yeah. Kind of. Kind it's also of. entertaining, because we're kind of just going to talk. We're mostly entertaining. I think yeah. we're very entertaining. But also educational. Yeah. And it's yeah. gonna be fun. See, sometimes we're when they talk time. about the theory stuff, I get to learn because I am not a music major. Yeah. I've yeah. just been playing music for yeah. many, many moons. <laughs> yeah, All thank right. you for that um segue. segue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about yourself, please. Oh well if you insist. Okay. <laughs> so, Where are you from? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you asked. I'm from Southern California. Really? It's this really cool place. Um, it's not on the East Coast. Hear me out. Wow. SoCal, Whoa. over by the West Coast. Pacific Ocean, been there so many times. Ever since I was a little... That's crazy. A wee little pot. So to be like everyone else at can say, why here? Yeah. yeah. I've gotten that question. Um, every time I meet a new person at Keene State, they're like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, well, <laughs> I've got a lot of family that goes through this school my grandfather graduated back in the day that's crazy my that is crazy yeah both my grandparents are still out here just not in a living way anyway oh, oh my okay. god <laughs> anyway let's not let's move on <laughs> that was the direction of that joke and you just have to deal with it moving on oh. yeah a lot of family going through the school i have a lot of family in the area and honestly i just wanted to experience a different kind of vibe than what i grew up around because california yeah. is a very distinct energy you know yeah. Really yeah, warm. and everyone there calls it Cali. Nobody there calls it Cali. <laughs> you will be bullied relentlessly if you call it Cali. Yeah, sodded. I love to bully Marley for calling it Cali on the reg. I'm like, please yeah. don't I'm call it Cali. Reg. Anyway. We abbreviate Anyways. words, just not the name of the state. Oh anyway. So what do you what do you play? How are you involved with music? Great yeah. question. What do you do? So just what do I do? Anyway, just for reference, I am a history major. I've got a double minor in anthropology, medieval, early modern studies. You know the vibes. Super lucrative career. Do we? Um, You're talking to music majors. We get it. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> you guys are worse off than I am. For real. So, I 
I've been playing music since I was four years old, a wee little tot. I would, I would just sit around the corner and watch my brother take piano lessons, and I was like, that looks so cool. I want to, I want to do that too. And so I begged my parents, and I was like, Mom, can I please play the piano? And she was like, let's ask, let's ask the teacher. And so we asked my teacher. Her name was Robin. Shout out, Robin <gasps> Tula. I know, just like the movie theater. That's crazy. I know. We and so Robin. we checked with her, and this is when you know, and she was like, well, normally I wouldn't let a student start until they're five, but your hands are big enough. And I was like. My hands are so small. I still struggle with playing the piano. Do you really? <laughs> yes. I got big stretchy fingers on the wall. Yeah. You do. When I was taking bed. like the beginner piano classes, the piano teacher was literally like, "Wow, you you have small hands." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, okay." I feel like I'm not that small. <laughs> anyway. I'm so anyway, I love her. Anyways. So I played piano for seven years. I can do some quick math there, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, That's hard. Up until I was around eleven. Which when I picked up flute and then proceeded to forget how to play bass clef because I forgot how to read it. That's so real. <laughs> Which was super non-conducive to playing piano. So I picked up flute and then in I want to say the sixth grade I picked up piccolo. Was I good at it? No. Did I get better at it? Kind of. I wouldn't say kind of. I would say yes. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Anyway, high school. I was in marching band for four years. I am a dweeb. Thank you for saying that. Um, I was also in marching band for four years. My school didn't have a marching band. Yeah, I, let's see, I played piccolo primarily, and I was also the primary flute soloist for, for the three years, except for my freshman year. So you could almost say that you were the principal flute. Whoa, I was first flute in concert band every single so year yes, of my high school. principal. Yes, yes, I was. Well, that is funny enough what that means. Yeah. Okay. But anyway... <laughs> Um, and I got to Keene State, and when I started the year, I was like, you know what, it's, I, like, I wasn't originally involved in the music department, I was like, no, I'm gonna give it, like, a semester, and then I'll see if I want to get back into it. And then I took my first week of classes, and I was like, no, I feel wrong inside, something is incorrect right now. And so I immediately emailed the concert band director, Dr. John Hart, love that guy. John T. Hart, let's Woo. go. Woo. Don, John T. Hart, Jr. Oh, my sorry. Bad. Sorry, John. Yeah. Get it get it together <laughs> if you're listening. listening. And also sorry for calling you John. <laughs> we don't mean sorry. it. Anyway, wait. <laughs> so I emailed him and I was like, hey, can I please join concert band pretty please? I play flute. And he went, come in an audition. And I auditioned and he went, please join the concert band. Um and then he also said, You might like the flute choir. And now I'm in and then I was in the flute choir and now I also play alto flute. And which he is, said it just like that. Yeah, that was exactly <laughs> how it was. He actually um asked his daughter and said, Do you think we should let her in? And his daughter was like, I do. And I was like, yeah. Thank wow. you, Eleanor. Eleanor is a hard critic. She yeah. is. She's tough to impress. And I wanted to make sure. Like, we got through. I remember one time I showed up to one of my trombone lessons with her. Or it was her first time to, or me meeting her. And I decided to wear a Star Wars t-shirt. And I had my little Star Wars earrings. And because I wanted to make sure that I impressed her. I don't know if I did. But I... I feel like there's a good chance that you did. Yeah. I feel like... I don't know. I just... Yeah. I felt pretty cool. I would too, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Liz, you have picked out two songs for us to hear tonight. Do you want to introduce the first one, Heat Above, by Greta Van Fleet? Oh, wow. Thank you for asking, Miles. Yes, I do. So, Greta Van Fleet is an American rock band, which they're from Michigan. Since 2012, they have released about five studio albums. And some of their other popular songs include Highway Tune, Light My Love, and Black Smoke Rising. This particular song, Heat Above, as Miles said, is from the album Battle at Gardens Gate, which is kind of just an observation on human nature. This particular song is talking about human utopia and, like, the ideal world. And it's also really groovy, and I like it, and that's why we're listening to it. Love groovy vibes, man. Right. Yeah, dude, it's sick. <sighs> so we're gonna cut to that right now, so enjoy that music. <laughs> <laughs> 